Apple pies being made by Real Bakers. Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Mike, and here we are at the 2015 Sydney Royal Easter Show. And what are we here to do, Eric? So we're just going to learn as much as we can about agriculture. Absolutely, and we believe that agricultural education and a love for agriculture is the key to Australia's future, don't we? Yes, absolutely. Pigs and people section where people get to interact with pigs. I'm here with Richard and Heather. They own four pigs here in the pig section. So guys, where do you come from? And tell us a bit more about your piggery, please. Yeah, we come from Forbes, Forbes in central New South Wales, and we run about 200 pigs, have 40 breeding sows. This this particular sow is a Berkshire. Berkshires are noted for their meat flavour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Josh, Braden and Nick. Nick, how do the pigs get judged? Well in the Berkshire breed, you usually look for the six points of white. You want a nice long pig with a pretty good width on him. They need to be nice long legs with a lot of meat down the legs. And what about um, the ways in which uh, industry can perhaps partner with schools to, uh, to support this kind of education? A few things like the um, ultrasound fat scanning with the new technology that's coming into the industry and I think it comes back to the fact that by being aware of these types of technologies and via scan and interacting with the industry people, you, again they develop more knowledge and skill set which makes them employable. What's this? This is a process where we're collecting some seed and we get the children to grind it into flour and then we make it into dough and then we pop it into the oven. What are you doing here today, George? The whole idea of this food dome is the food comes from where, you know, it comes from the paddock to the plate. Well, our department um, manages and looks after fish. Today we are promoting nutrition education to kids and families. So we have our vegetable table here. You have to guess which vegetables they are. My name is Tim O'Brien. I'm the president of the Agricultural Societies Council. We run all the group finals to qualify judges to judge the grain competition at the RAS. On stage today we've got wheat, barley and canola being assessed. The young judges get a lot of benefit out of this for their future farming exploits. And I'm here giving daily demos in the working dairy. We're just sort of showing the public what we do, how we milk a cow, how the machines work and different breeds of cows we have available in Australia and a little bit about the dairy industry in Australia. I'm here with Becca. Um, she owns this cow. Uh, what's the cow's name? Serana Blessing J1. And how heavy is she? She's 560 kilos. Why do you like doing this? Uh, I guess just meeting new people and it's a fun experience. I've grown up with beef cattle all my life, so it's just something I love doing. What are the reasons why mainstream Australian school students need to be engaging with agriculture? Agriculture has a large future in Australia. We're on the verge of a massive population growth um, globally and the majority of that population growth is going to be occurring in Asia. A large number of international countries are buying land in Australia at the moment and also private research companies are coming here because they can see that we are going to be the food bowl of the future to meet the resource requirements. So students need to know that if they choose agriculture as a pathway for employment, the opportunities are vast. Well, here we are at the end of our journey through the Sydney Royal Easter Show. And Eric, what have you learned? Well, I've learned heaps about agriculture, but I really wish I could learn more. Well, that's good. There's plenty of room for that. In fact, that's the message that we have. That is that industry is engaging really well with schools and school students, but there's a whole lot more we can do to engage people with this rich agriculture content, the likes of which we've seen here at the Royal Show. So, more to come.